Hey everybody, my name is Dowden, and in this two minute tutorial, we're going to be looking at the glue compressor inside Ableton Live. What's the difference between the stock compressor and the glue compressor? And when should you use either one? Let's go ahead and jump in. Before I get into the explanation of what the difference is, I'm just going to show you quickly how to use the glue compressor inside Ableton Live. I have my group of drums here, and I'm going to just grab a glue compressor and throw that onto the entire bus that is controlling the drums. So I have all these instruments here, and I'll have the glue compressor off first so you can hear the loop. And then I'm going to turn the glue compressor on. I'm going to pull my threshold down until we start to see some gain reduction on this meter here. I usually go between four and five decibels for my groups of my drums, and then I'm going to boost the makeup gain five decibels. And we can hear that it is definitely compressed. It's sounding a little bit more glued together, and it just sounds a little bit less dynamic, but a little bit louder overall. The other benefit with the glue compressor is we can actually use the soft clipper. So if this little red dot is popping on and off, that means that it is actually clipping and you can use the soft clipper to make the sound even louder without actually causing any real damage to the sound of your drum bus and your mix. If you want to learn more about the soft clipper, I actually do a two minute tutorial that covers the soft clipper in the glue compressor and you can find that in the description below. So I have a glue compressor working, it's compressing, and it's making everything sound a little bit closer together and louder. We've achieved that, but why couldn't we just do that with a regular compressor? Well, you can do that with a regular compressor, there's no problem with that. So the main difference between the glue compressor and the stock compressor, aside from the ability to add soft clipping, is that the glue compressor adds a bit of color to your sound. It's designed to emulate an older version of a bus compressor called the SSL compressor. People desire that warmer analog sound that you get from analog gear, and this this compressor was designed to emulate that so that you can use this glue compressor to add just a tiny bit of color to your compression. The decision is really up to you. You can try to use a glue compressor and a compressor. You're probably going to get really, really similar results. Just with the glue compressor, you might be getting more of a glued together sound, and it might just be a little bit more colored than the actual stock compressor will give you. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe with notifications on for more two-minute tutorials like this one. And if you like this video, make sure to give me a thumbs up.